welcome to Table Talk, the show where we discuss topics that you guys send in using the hashtag Table Talk. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Bill Franco. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. I like that you powered on there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, what's happening? Is this a thing that's happening? Renee says, Table Talk, what are your thoughts on human cloning for medical research? Ah, for it. Uh, but that's also because I have uh, a messed up kidney and could kill a clone of myself. Oh, to, to harvest their kidneys? <laughs> you would kill a clone of yourself to live I don't think that they were talking about harvesting kidneys and turning them into a subhuman thing, but that's where my mind went. No, it's Lovely <laughs> Bones style. What I think about is... Wait, is that that movie? No, my sister I was going to say, Lovely Bones Keeper. is different. Whatever, Stanley Tucci. The, uh, the <laughs> six degrees of Stanley Tucci oh, This movies. doesn't have anything but um, brandy in it. Would you... Because I'm thinking, like, for your case, like, if you could just clone another you. Like, why can't they just clone a kid, like, your exact kidney? Why can't they just do that? Why not have them all in one go? That's what they're actually trying to do. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, forget about the whole body. Just do the kidney. Wait a second. I can't have sex with just a kidney, but if it's a full body (laughs) Meg. Oh, so you're having sex with yourself? Yeah. Well, see, that's that's the thing. That's totally fine. One second. Let's just all imagine that real quick. With Meg having sex with herself? No, wait a second. No, okay, so wait. That <laughs> weird for and disturbing. Who, for people who don't swing both ways, would you have sex with yourself? No, I wouldn't. But see, this is the thing. Does it do make like, it... Do you like the way that she said said it like that? I know, so right? For people, uh, no. people who... Well, no, because I feel like it wouldn't be weird to have sex with myself because I also... Let me ask you girls. this. For homophobes, yes. let me ask you this. Like, <laughs> would you suck it? Okay, so let me rephrase. It's not the rephrase. same thing. For those of you who only play on one team, would you suck your own dick? See, does it make me gay if I suck my own dick? Right. Well, if it's my clone's dick, right. no. If I could suck my own dick, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> but see, that's I'm the not, thing. Okay, I'm okay. not that flexible. Here's the thing. Everyone talks about, like, man, I wish you could suck my own dick. Hey, but not a male's <laughs> genital. Ah, uh, it's good to be back, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, actually, Meg, you go for the next one. All right. You don't want your own dick in your mouth. I don't mouth. want my own dick in my mouth. I wouldn't put my own dick in my mouth. All right. That's the um, real question of the day. <laughs> At Matthew08 says, you and the SourceFed crew are in the Hunger Games. Who would you ally with and who would you avoid? What? Uh, I love this question. Okay, I'm so, yeah, I don't definitely know. Definitely not teaming up. Meg's probably the first person I take out because I think Meg would probably be the most <laughs> manipulative. Okay, bring it, bitch. <laughs> I'd team up with Joe because he's a man of honor and he wouldn't he wouldn't take me and, out until oh. the end. Well, but Joe's got a daughter, man. He's going to do mm-hmm. everything Oh, he's it totally going to kill yeah, me, yeah. but he's not killing me till near the end. Uh, like it's like when all the uh, so all is it the better rich... to survive toward the end and then still friggin' die? Better chance, yeah. Well, that's the whole reason. Like the the like the uh, what was it? Uh, the district tribute? one, or district the, two. The careers, I mean. Yeah, yeah, the careers would like team up and kill <laughs> off the little scrag. Like this guy's dumb. I'm fucked, man. This guy's I'm fucked. You should just stand you know down in the middle. I feel like the you're, you're PETA. You're drawing I'm fucking positions <laughs> on your face. <laughs> so no, wait a second. Line. I'm a rock. Don't shoot me. <laughs> oh, fuck, I feel I talk. like Steve hangs out of the cornucopia and is like nobody's gonna touch you. You can just hang out and everyone's like, don't kill. Listen, but the thing is, is like I'm trying to think of what I could offer in the Hunger Games because like I'm not really fast and like I'm a good shot. But like, yep. what? I wouldn't be good in someone's team. But nobody gets guns. You don't get guns. Well, that's true. That's true. Uh, but I mean, I don't know. I'd Joe, be fucked. Joe's killing fucked. everyone. Teaming up with Joe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but kill, what if Richard Ryan was there? Yeah, that's oh, Richard Ryan. No, it's source-fed crew. No, it's source-fed okay, crew. Okay. Richard yeah. Ryan, of course, Richard. But um, I'm, uh, I'm not. I'm not aligned with anyone. Okay. I'm a lone ranger because I know whoever. I, I can't trust you. Clearly, you I might use Steve as bait. God I damn it! Like, Steve will be like my bait. Trisha, of course. Also, I would. You know what? I would team up with Trisha because we would be the berry people at the end. We'd be like the. Okay, you're gonna swallow the berries. We would do it together. But Trisha's the only one I feel like I would. Well, Trisha would eat it. You'd be like, ha. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I just have to be ready to die. Basically, you just have to be ready. To <laughs> no, There's like no they, hope. I think you make it to the end just like off a of coast and up, and just, nobody's just gonna kill like, Steve. Yeah, just like, come on, guys, you can't shoot me. Good, come know. on. Everyone's gonna favor Joe because he has a kid. Joe can win, that's fine. You'll play the guitar. You'll play like sweet like, battle music. Don't shoot me instantly. I get You're the deal. bard. This is what you say now. When it comes to life or death, you're mowing people down. With no, way. I guess. no way. I guess. No way. Maybe. No. I just because I'm going in with the attitude that I know I'm going to die. Someone okay. who's better than me mm. is going to take me okay. out. Okay. Go so, Rambo on it. Maybe I'll take someone out on my way down. Um, okay. Uh, Daryl Gagnon asks a video game that has the greatest impact on your life. Oh, greatest oh. impact on my life. I mean, I mean Mario, right? Like, Mario's sure. gotta be. It's kind of boring, but it's like the first Super Mario Brothers. Like, I remember playing with my brother right. on Nintendo. Okay. And just, I remember the first, my first memory of Mario is the laughing at the Goombas, because the way they're walking. <laughs> my brother and I were like, ah, that's fucking hilarious! That's just effective. No, I mean, I think I, I, there are several games. I think yeah, Goldeneye was one of the first times yeah. I really enjoyed, like, multiplayer. Mm. Um, Halo is, Halo 1 and Halo uh, 2 were, like, my favorite multiplayer experiences. 
favorite story like that it actually came out to me was like Final Fantasy VII. It was like the first game I was like, <gasps> like during that thing that happens that you can't talk they can't about. can't talk about. Yeah, even though when you go back and play, you're like, how was I emotionally invested in this terrible <laughs> looking game? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would say Final Fantasy VII actually. The thing really? that stands out to me. I have to say um, the seventh guest because yeah. it, it mm -hmm. started me out young and like it's super creepy and like very adult. And I think it like shaped a lot of my, I love creepy stuff, yeah. but not too scary. Um, and then probably A Link to the Past just because the story is really cute. I remember playing with my brothers mm. being like, I'm not gonna help you, got beat on your own. Yeah. So, well, I remember playing of Shadow of the Colossus and saying, like, oh. This is I still have to play yeah. that. Like, I still yeah. have to play oh, that. It's got, to there's an that. HD PS3 version you gotta play. Okay, yeah, yeah. Amazing. And but. on top of that, Professor Layton in the Unwound Future, which I just played recently, yeah. I cried like a fucking baby <laughs> in that game. And I was like, Video games get well, so you know make me cry. If we're talking about games that have affected our lives, honestly, any puzzle game I ever played, any point and click adventure game, those really fucking hard ones that mm. like, there was no internet at the mm. time, so you can't go and look at a walkthrough or some shit. That stuff made me do, use critical thinking and, and my knowledge skills more than anything in school ever did. Okay, yeah. very cool. I dig it, I dig it. Let's see. Uh, this one is from Nate. Uh, who says, what are your predictions for the new gen console? So, so, hmm. so, 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 I don't know, man. Um, I mean, we've seen everything about, the, but most of stuff, uh, stuff about PS4 so far. We just haven't seen anything. Except what it Xbox looks like. 720. Yeah. Whatever they're gonna it's so funny how the, the aesthetics is, is important too. Like, what, like, isn't there? Don't they say there's like well, a regional thing about how a console looks? Like, oh well, like well, if sure. it'll sell well in Japan. Yeah, yeah. 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 But do you remember the first fucking Xbox? Go oh, yeah! Oh, that thing was that like honker. it was like that Ooh. shitty uh, sound box that your friend had in his trunk to yeah. make the sound. It his reminds me of like when they when you see like uh, any like Avatar or something. They have like a briefcase. It's gonna have something like <laughs> a location yeah. system. Yeah. That's what it's gonna look no, like. No, but that I mean, it looked like it looked fucking epic. But it was just a giant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's going to be super thin. Um, I think for region-specific uh, consoles, like in Japan, we're going to see colors, of course. We always see like limited edition colors yeah. coming out of Japan. I think it's going to be super sleek looking. The PS3 was, I mean, when it first came out, it was a pretty much a honker, and now it's tiny. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think they're going to right off the bat make it pretty pretty sleek. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we're going to see Blu-ray across the board. I think social is going to be a huge deal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think the, the streaming thing. Weird. Well, the it's thing, so but weird. the thing is, like, I, yeah, I don't want to update my Facebook and be like, oh, beat this guy. Yeah. But yeah. I really like with PS4 that you can be like, oh, cool, I did a thing, and it's already recording. I can go back 20 seconds and be like, guys, check out this clip of me so doing that actually, cool thing. So that's actually, like, that's interesting. That's cool, and you can stream from it. Yeah. yeah. That's something that's confirmed on the new PS4, yes. right? Yeah. Yes, I like that. I think it's going to be cool. The thing I don't really enjoy is the, uh, hey, I can't beat this part. Steve, why don't you Play come beat me. this part for me? Yeah. Play uh -huh. the part yourself. That's a thing? Shit. Yeah. It is if a you're thing, playing yeah. something and you're like, I can't figure it out, I can hop on my console at home and tap into your console and play it for you. Wow. Has Sony, <laughs> like, ha like trademark bitch mode? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I can't do it. I can't do it. It'll be interesting if, like, the, uh, the, the they make it so obviously that you won't be able to play PS3 games or Xbox yeah. 360 games, but if they're going to be awesome and allow you to buy those games through their online store, Oh, well, I mean, PS3 now, you can download day of releases digitally, like right. Nino Kuni we did. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that's the way it's going to go, especially with this whole, like, you're going to have a disc and it's going to have a code and that's a one-use code and yeah, like, that God disc War, is a piece uh, of shit. God of War has that. The new God of War Ascension, we were, like, going to play multiplayer mean? yesterday. Oh, and well, like, it needs that code to, like, Well, that's the thing play. they've been doing. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's... I just, I, I feel like they're going to go all digital and I think discs are going to be for... I don't know how I feel about it, man. I'm seriously, I don't know how I feel about it because, like, I... I said it. We need to have a fucking huge hard drive. Hashtag slut shaming 2.0. Slut shaming my future. Is console I just, the thing is, like, I, the hard drive space is going to be a huge concern. When, well, like Nino Kuni, for example, is a huge fucking game. Yeah. yeah. If you don't have the hard drive space for like multiple games, I know some people have massive video game collections. Right. Like, well, we talked. They talked about. Um, well, we, we talked about when we went to our PS4 um, story that was like running down all the specifics. They didn't have a hard drive space yet, but we were hearing it's going to be huge, like 500 okay. gigs maybe. Off and of then, that, but so. you know, they're going to do some kind of cloud thing too. Where it's of like course, pay a of yearly course. subscription, which I don't want to fucking do that. Like, I, right. don't know, I already don't use the cloud for my Apple stuff. Right. Because I don't want to pay for that. The shit. only time I actually use the cloud is because we work here. Mm -hmm. Like, I like that I can log in and I'll be like, oh yeah, that's right, I saved my game to the yeah. cloud. Yeah. I can continue. I do else. that on my Xbox. 
Xbox. But for like for 90% here. of people, that's the, yeah. it's not going to matter. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. I agree. That's the only reason I use it is because like I'll play Tomb Raider here and then I'll go home and pick up where I left yeah. off. But uh, but I mean, like think about like if you have 500 gigs off the bat, like how many, how, when are you going to run out of that? I don't know. Some people are crazy, man. Like I, all my iPads and iPhones are like 32 gigs mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. hit it every time. I'm out of, yeah, I was, I'm well, 16 on my iPhone and I was like constantly deleting videos. Yeah, like, it's like fucked Making up. choices and, about what I wanted. And, and that's the thing like with the new iPhones and, and all these new like uh, iOS device or all these fucking handheld devices, you've got that like 1080p HD fucking yeah. high quality video and I want to record a ton of shit all the time. I don't have the space for that. Well, so the that's thing a huge concern. to mention, though my new phone, if you have to actually, when you start a video, <laughs> I'm gonna have to mention it, but when you start a video, it asks you if you're gonna do it for MMS or if you want high def video because it differentiates oh, that's because cool. it eats up like so much that. space. I like that. I, we don't have to fucking do the phone, whatever. <laughs> On my, I'll do it again. <laughs> on my new phone. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna I'm just, fucking face about I'm this. Just, I'm just laughing. I'm just laughing because some fucking PR marketing guy is like, I fucking gave her that yeah, phone and yeah, she did integrated yeah. the video already. <laughs> By the way, this bag of Doritos oh, really? over here is really <laughs> delicious. Phil, would it's you like to try one? It's fucking relevant to the conversation. I know, I know, I know. It's just, it. it just seemed fuck really that funny. Phone. Hashtag South by Southwest. <laughs> okay, Hashtag do, do fuck last. everything. Right, do more, please. <laughs> The face. Hashtag fuck Meg 2.0. That's why I'm so happy Meg's here, because she doesn't she doesn't like deal with my bullshit. Like, fuck you! It's relevant to the damn <laughs> conversation. Alright, hashtag the nameless Dave says, what is your opinion of hipsters and or counterculture in general? Speaking of South by Southwest. Ooh, rebel, 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 rebel. Uh what? What a hipster is someone that I just fucking went... love flag. See, I think I don't know. The thing is, <laughs> hold on a second. Ah! Hold on, let's pull up a photo. Let's pull up a photo of me from like 1991, and you'll see nothing has changed. Okay, wait. Oh wait. Can it get more hipster then? Uh, I was wearing this before they were hipsters. It cannot. Yeah, but sir. isn't that the definition? I say it cannot. Okay, okay. What's a hipster then? You. What is a hipster? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't think Steve's a hipster. I just, I, uh, I love when people wear grandpa clothes. I think it's very flattering. I just got back from Austin where everyone was wearing grandpa mm -hmm. clothes and I, I think it's kind of cute. So what is it? It's just someone adopting a style right. and, and it's ironic and It's strange. very ironic. It's very like, oh, this is super vintage. Um, and now it's like, a, like, I feel like hipster's not really a bad word, but it's become a bad word. Well, it's like, yeah, what's, why is, so where does it come from? Where Why are people like, fuck you, hipster? Like, does it just mean fuck you, hippie, It's basically? like, yeah, remember like, like when people called each other beatniks? It's okay. kind of like similar right. to that, So I like, feel. what's the big deal? That was like, a thing? Oh, yeah, when? In like the seventies, yeah. yeah. Oh I no, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't there, Phil. Oh, beatniks are so, like more extreme hippies, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like beatniks are like very artsy, which is like hipsters are super, very, like super yeah. artsy, like very everything is like very like retro. Oh yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know the definition of a hipster. I just know that when certain people have been called hipsters and I've had conversations with those people, I've been extremely annoyed by how special that person feels, even though it kind of goes against the whole them trying to be special. <laughs> right, right. And I'm just like, you are a walking terror. <laughs> oh. But well, I mean, is it just, isn't it just people that like something and they're just fucking trying something? And they just like, like it's like a lot of stuff is like very vintage and very like you know they like vinyl and yeah. it's very they're very yeah. purist about we things. Need, but also need, they like iPhones, like vinyl and iPhones. We need a hipster. senior hipster analysis. analysis yeah, where's their hand? Yeah, where's where's like, well, there it goes. I don't fucking even know what it is, honestly. I, I just feel like know. that's the most hipster way to talk about it. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. This Everything is I say is going to be a, that's a hipster. That's what a hipster would say. I, I think hipster is hipster shame. You're a hipster shame. Hashtag hipster shame. One, one day someone's gonna be like, fucking pile it on today, guys. I watched watch SourceFed before they brought the other three. <laughs> I watched Source Fed before uh, before they start making new hosts. You fucking hipster! <laughs> You're a hipster! That's Source it. I like that as an ending. Yeah, Go me too. Ahead. Tight pants. Is tight pants a hipster thing? That's a hipster thing. I think that's just a. That's uh, just to like like accentuate your crotch. The tight thing. boy pants, like boys wearing girl. If you're pants. gonna wear, like if you're gonna thing. wear skinny jeans, you better have like a huge dong, yeah. and it's like <laughs> ironic because if it's not showing at that point, then why are you wearing those is that, fucking <laughs> jeans? Is it hipster to have a huge? Dog? I want to. I want to imagine. <laughs> it's I want to imagine that you're just gonna walk up to a dude and be like, your dog is not big enough. I feel misled. You fucking hipster. You fucking hipster. <laughs> well, that's it for Table Talk, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Keep tweeting in your topics. Hashtag Table Talk. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Philip DeFranco. I'm Steve Zaragoza. It was relevant to the conversation. <laughs> it was fucking relevant. Uh, galaxy, no. Phil, have you ever uh. had a delicious Hot Pocket? It's <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Steve. <laughs>